What's kicking y'all? Quick Panic here and I am back with another Funko video. Today I've got a bunch of brand new exclusives and by brand new I mean newish because they've been kind of piling up and I was like, you know, the first couple came in and I really didn't think it was enough to merit a full video and then way too many came in. So I'm going to split it up. So you're going to see three different kinds of videos coming uh, over the next week. Two weeks? Week? Week? I don't know. How often am I uploading? Nobody knows! That's the beauty of this channel. You should also, like, subscribe to this channel if you're not already. It's, um, fun? Fun. It's fun. You're gonna have fun! Anyway, so I have a video today that's gonna be a bunch of new exclusives that have been dropping over the past week or two, um, including some Earth Day exclusives that I'm really excited about because they really struck a heart chord with me, and then some new Marvel stuff that's been coming out. So, there's a mixture of that, and then I have some stuff that's been coming from eBay, Facebook, Mercari. Um, if you don't know about Mercari, you should check it out for your Funko needs. Um, not a sponsor. Yet. And, uh, yeah, so there's going to be a video. Today we're going to be doing newer exclusives. The next video, when I upload it, because it turns out I'm going back to work uh, on Monday. I'm recording this on Friday, May 1st. So the upload schedule is going to be wonky still. So I'm sorry. I love you, though. Uh, we're going to be doing new exclusives. Next time we're going to be doing eBay, uh, Facebook, Mercari stuff. And then I'm going to do some non-pop Funko content um, where I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite products that have been coming out lately. And it's really cool to uh, to be able to, to branch out from the Funko pop line and not feel like I'm doing it just because of the brand, but because I legitimately enjoy the product. So that is coming as well. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Um, let's just get into this. I'm going to open these boxes. I have a bunch. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes in a bag. Thanks, Hot Topic. And, uh, we're just gonna get into these. I don't know. Okay, first one is from Hot Topic. I think this one is their Earth Day exclusive. There is no rhyme or reason to the order in which I'm opening these, just for the record. I think this is the Earth Day exclusive that dropped the other day. I am such a freaking sucker when it comes to uh funko because yes this is the earth day exclusive they will drop uh, a character that i really like can you see him behind me no it, the the chair is slightly obscuring him that always happens and uh so i already got this when he came out as a common and of course of course i bought the common and then like a month later like we have a new cooler version and i was like oh take my money so here we go the first one is going to be really hard to get out thankfully it's in their sorter Bill Nye the Science Guy. I got him because science rules. Um, this Bill Nye is different. The first one had a beaker that he was holding. This one, he's holding the globe. And I got this one because, A, it supports... Um, I'm hoping it supports Funko using uh, more easily recyclable recyclable uh, materials. So this one, you can see the box is a little bit different. If you got Wally and Eve, which were box lunch exclusives... Um, they were also Earth Day releases, and the boxes and the figures are made out of um, predominantly recycled stuff. So uh, it's a it's a really nice way to support um, Funko doing the right thing with their manufacturing practices. So I got the Beaker one, uh, but I really I, I wanted a version of Bill Nye that was an exclusive. I know it's I'm, I'm kind of like that <laughs> when it comes to collecting things. It's nicer to have something that's. Um, that's special in some way. The other one is more mass produced. Not that they aren't all mass produced, but anyway, that's the first Earth Day exclusive. Can I find the other one and we'll just stick with the theme? I can. You, hey, camera, I'm watching you. We had this conversation last time. Luckily, I've been editing with a new software and uh, it allows me to cut out all that stuff where it doesn't focus. Um, first off, it's my favorite accordion box. I love when they ship like this. This one is from Box Lunch. This is a box the size of three adult elephants, and uh, it ships one pop. So I bought an Earth Day exclusive, which was supposed to support uh, using re recyclable materials. And here we are using a massive box to ship one baby box that's holding another box. Look at that. Um, so this is also an Earth Day exclusive. And this is, okay, so I love Disney. But when I watch Disney movies, I never associate myself with or care too much for the human main characters. It's always like their sidekicks that I really adore. Um, so like take, for instance, when you when you look at Hercules, Hercules has Pegasus. I love Pegasus. And then we have this one, which comes from Pocahontas. 
and they always do cool little codes. And this one is titled, Dude, Where's My Car? And they do that so people who see the data in the system don't know what the pop is going to be, so the releases stay secret. But this is Miko and his buddy Flit, who is the hummingbird there. You can see he has a raspberry on his nose. Some people are confused, but if you watch the movie, the original Pocahontas, there's not another one, right? There isn't yet. Disney's Disney's going to do that. Um, so it's, it's Miko and Flit, and they're both eating raspberries. And I love their characters. They don't have voices. They don't speak or anything like that. They're just adorable. Um, but this is another instance where we have the recyclable materials being used for the box, which is really cool. And the figures are also like that. And uh, so that makes four Earth Day exclusives that they've done. Um, it's I, I assume it's going to be for a good cause. I don't know. <laughs> Proceeds might go to something. I should probably look into that. But I'm really excited to have him. I was about to go and buy the original release, Miko, where he's eating the cracker that is given to him by John Smith, I believe. And uh, this was announced like a day after I decided I was going to do this. And this mold looks like infinitely better. So I'm glad that happened. This next one is from somewhere. It's definitely from somewhere. And the box is a lot smaller. It's about the size. It's a couple inches bigger than a pop box on every side. This is from... Okay, cool. So this one... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one, this one might have to, uh, not, there's not box damage, but I think her sword is broken off. It is, it is broken off. So I got Lady Deadpool. They released a new, uh, Carnage symbiote pop, um, of a really obscure symbiote. You can see, look, her sword is over there in the corner of the box. So pop in the box. I wanted to get Lady Deadpool cause I didn't have one yet. And I ordered it at the same time as the symbiote. Um, hoping I could combine shipping, but they, they didn't, but, um, yeah, so I was going to be really excited about Lady Deadpool. It's just a girl version of Deadpool. Uh, I love the character Deadpool, but um, the sword is broken. That's the first time I've legitimately had a pop come in where the pop itself is broken. Can I get Fs in, in, can I get Fs in the chat, boys? I know how to speak. Well, the mold looks good. I'm sad the sword is literally broken off. Um, so I guess I have to call. They're gonna be like, hey, you ordered this nine weeks ago. Why didn't you tell us sooner? I'll be like, listen. I got reasons, okay? I don't know what they are, and none of them are very legitimate, but I got reasons. This next one, I believe, is from FYE, which stands for For Your Entertainment, um, which is like a CD and movie store, but in the past couple years, they've gotten into Funko Pops, just like the rest of the world, and this is a character I've been waiting to get, because they did have a common version of her, and she is from Mando, she's from Mandalorian, and it's Cara Dune. Um, the original one, she's not holding a weapon or anything, I don't think. Uh, she kind of is. Not a cool weapon. This is where she's holding a Gatling gun, which is, I believe is from like one of the last episodes, second to last or last episode. Um, and I just really liked the mold for this one better. And like I said, I like to have exclusives if I can help it. If you don't know, there's also a bunch of Baby Yoda exclusives and new molds that were announced, as well as um, Moff Gideon with his Darksaber Um I'll, I'll leave links in the description for those. Um, not sponsors, wherever I leave the links to, just for the record. Uh, but they're very cool. And there's so many different options for the Baby Yoda. So that will be uh, in the comments section. The links. Link section? A link to the past. Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Zelda. What? All right, next up. I went to... You saw it in the corner. I went to uh, Walmart uh, last week. Something that, in fact, I had to get eggs and orange juice... And I was like, you know what? I'm going to swing by the Funko uh, area in the electronics department. And I found the Marvel uh, Venomized Mystery Minis uh, full box. And I opened those for the channel, which is really cool if you want to check out that video. But at the same time, I was able to find the Walmart exclusive Black Widow pop that was supposed to coincide uh, with the release of the new Black Widow movie, which takes place between Civil War and Infinity War, I believe. Um, but I wanted to get... I love... I love Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. Um, the difference between this one and her normal release, her hair, different. And she's holding, so there's Natasha Romanov, and then there's a Black Widow where she's holding some sort of weird nunchuck looking things, and she's wearing a white suit. This one, she's wearing what looks like mountain climbing thingies, you know, the little mountain climbing picks, ice picks? I don't know. I don't know how to say things. And uh, she's wearing a black suit. But I wanted to pick up another Black Widow, especially, uh, spoilers, since she's dead. <sighs> makes me sad okay this next marvel release i ordered on walgreens at the 
I think it was the 13th of March was the first time it was up for pre-order. And they said it was going to ship, and then they postponed it, said it was going to ship, and I hadn't heard anything back. But I saw some people on the Funko Pop Reddit that had gotten theirs in, so I was excited thinking mine was going to ship, but I got a little antsy. I had to pick up some eye drops for my dog, and I went to Walgreens since it's the closest corner store thing, and they were sitting on the checkout counter. Uh, they had a bunch of gambits, which mine shipped, so I had the exclusive gambit, um, but I found Beta Ray Bill, and Beta Ray Bill is from the Thor comics. He... Uh, despite what his face looks like, he is actually a good guy. And uh, you can see he's got a cool hammer there. I don't know the name of his hammer. I know Thor has Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. I don't know what this one's called. Um, but it's got the cool blue see-through lightning swirling around. And uh, this is part of the 80 Years of Marvel line, which is really cool. It does a really nice job of making the comic book character designs of all of our favorite heroes and villains. And I had to get this. It looks so good. His helmet's metallic. And uh, his hammer's got the blue lightning stuff. I freaking love the Walgreens exclusives. They always get, like, Spider-Man, and they get the Star Wars, and they get the Marvel. It's so cool. But um, anyway, Beta Ray Bill is an amazing figure. If you have to go out uh, for prescriptions or something to that effect, you might want to swing by the toy section at Walgreens. Uh, I got two more things here. The next one came in a bag. I love this. Thank you, Hot Topic, you know. Hot Topic sometimes sends one pop, right, in a, a 15 by 15 foot box. And then other times they put one pop in a bag and they say, Jesus, take the wheel. And uh, today we are going to be looking at another exclusive that hit Hot Topic. Hot Topic has been just like getting them back to back to back. And this is a metallic Spider-Man from his first appearance. And uh, he's got the web wings and everything. This is metallic. This, it's not a good metallic. <laughs> it it looks a little different. So it looks like he's black and red, which is the main reason that I got him. And uh, the other one is like the classic blue and everything that you see here. So I wanted to pick it up because I love metallic stuff. And I thought maybe the glams weren't doing it uh, justice. But even seeing it in person, it's kind of metallic, but it's really dark. They probably should have chosen a lighter red, like a metallic Red Ranger that they had at Hot Topic was a really good color. So I'm surprised that, hmm, surprised they didn't use a color like this. But this is also from the 80 Years of Marvel. I have the common, now I have the metallic. I've lost control of my life. Um, I'm going to give this like a 3 out of 10. <laughs> We're not really doing ratings on this channel, but I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 uh, as far as metallic goes. I'm actually a huge sucker for metallic and glow-in-the-dark stuff. That one's a little bit of a letdown. Um, before we get into, oh, we have two more boxes. What? I lied to you. Uh, let me grab the next one. I was going to say, I'm just not, I'm not going to make you wait now. I was going to say before we get into the last box, uh, I want to say thank you for the support. Um, I got some comments in the last video or two that I should do some commentary videos, not, not necessarily just, uh, opening pops with you guys. So, I have an idea for a video, um, especially since I have to go back to work. It'll be a lot easier than opening a bunch of boxes. Um, I'll have a conversation video going up whenever I can complete it. Uh, so that'll be coming to the channel. If you have any uh, conversational uh, points or pieces you'd like to hear my opinion on or uh, anything to that effect, let me know. And I'll, uh, I'd be glad to do a discussion video on Funko stuff because I seem to know way too much and I love it. So <laughs> that's what we'll be doing. Um, our second to last item here is a surprise release, kind of. So we knew that there was a flocked Tweety and Sylvester that was coming out, but they never gave us a date. And then last Friday, they're just like, surprise, it's live. And it was like, Bleh. it was like 8 a.m. So I had to like run to my phone and grab it because, uh, like I said, I like to have an exclusive version of all of my collection um, if I can help it. And my mom was always asking if she could have the Sylvester and Tweety Pop I have. So perfect cop-out reason for me to get this. This is a shirt and tee combo. And I actually really, really like the design for the shirt on this one. So A, I'm praying that we do not get a booped box. It's really hard um, with t-shirt combos because the shirts are usually put on top. And they squish the box, which makes it really hard to find a mint condition one. This shirt is so soft, Funko, thank you. They listened, they listened. Um, so it's Sylvester and Tweety and this shirt, first off, it's not black. I was so tired of black shirts. Um, 
Oh, it's so soft. I'm going to wear this. Uh, it's Sylvester and Tweety, and Sylvester is, like, stuck inside the cage. Tweety's flying free, classic. Uh, the, the back is plain, but it's soft. Oh, man, I love it when Funko makes their shirts out of newer material. If you ever bought, like, the first couple of t-shirt combos that they did, they had, like, I don't know, was it, was it, like, iron wool or something? I don't know what it was made out of, but it was so wildly uncomfortable, um, and they did not fit well at all. Um, so that was, that was really disappoint disappointing, but that is a nice shirt. Here we have, now these, these are, these are pops that should be flocked. We have Sylvester and Tweety. This makes sense. Cats are fuzzy and birdies are fuzzy. So yes, flock these. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, stop, stop it. I love Pokemon and you're trying to make me buy stuff I don't need to. Um, but I want to see more, more characters for Looney Tunes, please, soon. We have, we need to get like Foghorn Leghorn, Yosemite Sam. Um, we recently got uh, Wily e. Coyote and Roadrunner, which was cool. Um, so I'm glad we saw a flocked version of this, but uh, let's get some more characters. Okay, last box here. If you are enjoying this kind of stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel because I'm not gonna ever stop buying Funko stuff unless they stop making it and I've already bought every other kind. So yeah, don't stop Funko, I love you. <laughs> uh, this last one is not necessarily a pop, but, as I said, I love Pokemon, and they've been doing a series of... Why are the boxes always boobs? It's okay. It's going to be fine. Nobody's mad. I'm not mad. Um, we have the Day with Eevee, Eevee and Friends. Um, the first one they released was two baby Eevees. Uh, the second one was a Vaporeon, and now we have Sylveon, which was a Kalos region fairy-type evolution. As you can see, we got a booped box, my favorite. Um... But I'm excited to see all these coming out. I can't wait for Umbreon and uh, Espeon, my favorites. Um, so I'm really bummed out about that. But, you know, what can you do? It looks good. Okay, these look good. If you're a Pokemon fan and you're not getting these, you're freaking bonkers. That is all I've got for today. Like I said, the upcoming, upcoming videos uh, have a potential to be a discussion topic. So if you have any of those on your mind, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming all the time. And uh, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Later.